Okay, boys, we're back with a second video. Two videos in one day from me? That's rare. I haven't done this in months. But with Black Swan release and Penacone in 2.0, why not? Let's drop some videos. So today we'll be looking at her orbs. So there's two orbs we're mainly looking at, wind damage percent and attack percent. Now, the reason I picked these two orbs because they're very, very popular options for DPS Black Swan. Um, I recommend them as your main go to there's no other like alternative ones that would give you the same dps if you want like a more tanky black swan you would go like hp or something i don't recommend that though but you know you do have other options and ways to build her but for what i'm looking for we're looking for the most damage and what's going to be the most optimal in terms of your damage so we're going to be looking at black swan as a solo dps with no support then we'll have one with attack support and then one more run with damage support. But let's get into the video. Now, if you're enjoying these type of videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content and comment down below what you would like to see in terms of Black Swan videos. Currently, I have lined up a comparison video on her body piece because I think some people may underappreciate how good effect hit rate is and just want to see it in comparison to attack percent. Also, I thought about doing a video comparing her and Sampo. Obviously, you probably can expect Black Swan to be the better character, as she is the premium five-star character. But I think Sampo might do pretty well um, in similar scenarios. So I thought I'll give it a try and see how that, how they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. If you have anything else you want to see in terms of Black Swan content, let me know in the comments down below. I decided to leave a like little still freeze image so you can see the damage here. You can see that the attack orb is a little bit lower than the wind damage orb when we don't factor in buffs or anything like related to other teammates. When looking at Black Swan as a solo character, you're going to get a little bit more mileage with wind damage. Now here we have the team battle attack support. So the focus here is to have only characters boost her attack up. I'm not using Ting Yun's ultimate because I'm looking to boost only the attack. So I'm using Benediction from her skill to get the attack boost. I want to minimize how much damage percent I get from anything here and just focus purely on attack buffs. And then you see after this point, we're just auto attacking so we can build up stack so we can get the final damage on our nuke. As per usual, Ting Yun gets blown up because the boss loves attacking Tang Yun, but it is what it is. So you can get like a little nice damage there. 33K, not too bad. We're gonna move over to the, um. so one thing I didn't mention in, in the videos, the first clip will always be wind damage. The second clip will be attack damage, of all attack percent. So it's wind damage, first clip, attack percent second clip i might add that into the video while i'm watching it i guess it looks kind of confusing to even me so i'll probably have it in the video now but it's just a little bit more clarity there we can even see here that the damage is getting relatively similar now the damage is not looking too different from both perspectives if you're keeping track i do have a low freeze frame right here where you can get to see both side by side they're like 400 damage difference so when we start adding buffers attack percent gets really close to win damage but that's what attack support so now we want to look with damage support damage support is a little bit different than attack support you're going to see it by it says damage bonus on the um effect screen and it'll also usually boost all your elements so i'm using ron may Branya has a passive that does it, so just her standing in the battle does it, but I also have Planetary Rendezvous as her light cone. I'm not using her skill because her skill is one turn buff unless you have her E6, which is not in this video. Therefore, there's no point of using her buff as it's not going to really do anything. It'll boost up her attack and give her more stacks, but that's not going to give me a consistent um, damage output, so it's better off that I just only use her basic attack and you can see there Ting Yun dying at like every video because I she has hostility up I don't care what anyone says bro it's not 75 it's like 150 or maybe even 200 because he's always getting hit 
But once again, you can see the same rotation as per usual. And we're just focusing on getting as much damage support as possible to see if the damage support makes a difference. Because remember, wind damage is classified as damage support. It's in that bracket. So we want to see if scaling makes attack percent a higher value. And what we end up seeing here is, voila, attack percent is the better option when we start factoring in damage support. Now, keep in mind, I don't even have every buff up. We already seen that adding attack percent does make the damage on attack percent orb a higher value. It gains more value from the buffs. So this having both together, you can see that exponentially you're going to get more value out of the attack orb if you have buffers. But if you're using like Nihility characters like Kafka, uh, other Nihility characters, I don't remember, like Luca or something, you're probably not going to get the same value. Therefore, it's probably best off that you stick with wind damage orb if you're running her with a nihility team. But if you're running her with a support team, you want to look at running attack orb. Honestly, when it comes down to it, the damage difference between each is so minuscule. What matters most is which one rolls the better substats. So if you get a good attack orb that has good substats, use that. If you get a good wind damage orb that has great substats, use that. The damage is not too different. If you are a super tryhard that's going to go for maximum damage for your screenshot, you might want to go to the attack orb because it does scale better with all the buffs. But other than that, they're so similar. Don't trust yourself over a small thing like this. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and all that YouTube stuff. I know it's annoying. I won't do it too much, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something. I'll catch you in my next video. Later.